UCLA Medical Center this afternoon, their local time. Uh, we certainly welcome your thoughts. If you want to say something, maybe you have memories, maybe you had a personal experience that had to do with Michael Jackson over the last decades of his career, we have received some Your Voice thoughts that we want to share with you at this moment. Rachel writes to us, quote, It is a great loss to the music world. My heart goes out to the Jackson family. And Jose sends us this message. God bless you, Michael. You were awesome. I love your music. Irma writes, I loved Michael and always will. I believe he had the greatest heart and the best music. He is and will always be the best. It's sad that when you are the best inside out, people envy this and start hating you. God bless you, Michael, and I know you are now singing with the angels. We want to go to Los Angeles now. We're seeing as Cara Finstrom is standing by live. She has been monitoring the situation from outside of Michael Jackson's home, and she joins us now with the latest from her end. Hi, Cara. Hi, and we're giving you a live picture here. A uh, black Mercedes of some sort has just pulled up, and... Uh, I am being told, I can't confirm this because I haven't seen her myself, that it is Demi Moore inside the car. Uh, that's what a lot of people here are saying, but I, I can't see. Um, anyway, parked right in front of the gates, uh, and as you can see, a lot of paparazzi uh, here. You can hear uh, helicopters overhead. Police have sealed off the area, and actually it looks like they're coming up to, to see exactly who is here. Um, this is the home, the Bel Air home that Michael Jackson was staying at. Uh, he was rushed by paramedics from this home to the L.A. hospital where reports are now that he has died. That L.A. hospital about uh, a six minute drive from here. Um, we've been speaking with a lot of people here in the neighborhood who have actually just kind of straggled up. They are looking to see, to confirm whatever information they can get. They say they've heard the helicopters. They have also, uh, you know, seen the reports on TV. and. They want, to, they want to know what's happening. There are usually a number of vans out, parked outside here, about six vans, uh, which contain his most hardcore fans. And generally, they follow him wherever he goes. And as, as I mentioned, he was running this house in the Bel Air area. Um, we're getting different reports of who is inside that, that car. In any event, somehow that car made it past uh, the police line here, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of attention to it right now. But again, this is the home where Michael Jackson was staying, the home he had rented here in the Bel Air area, uh, and was rushed from early this uh, earlier this afternoon uh, in full cardiac arrest. Cara, we've been seeing, it looks like hundreds of people starting to gather outside of UCLA Medical Center on hearing this news. A lot of fans are there. What are you seeing outside of his home with regard to people gathering? Well, from what we understand is, you know, his real ardent fans, and they've been compared to Grateful Dead fans, those who really follow him wherever he goes, are are there at the hospital. Uh, but a lot of people from within the neighborhood, uh, people who don't live too far away and are seeing this on TV, has dri have driven here to see what's going on. And I actually want to bring in a couple of these fans, um, some of the younger fans as well, because his music span generations. Uh, tell us a little bit about why you've come out here today. Um, we were actually in Venice Beach, and then on the way home, we heard about it. Um, uh, my sister's boyfriend called her from New York, and he heard about it. And then we were like, we just like, searched it up on the phone, like what ha what had happened, and then um, I, we saw the address, and then we came over here. So. And you're awful young, but are you familiar with this music? Do you, do you listen to it? Yeah. Um, in kindergarten, we had to sing ABC for our spring musical for him, so, and then I just grew up, because my mom always put him on the radio at home and stuff like that, so. And that's a lot of what we're hearing out here. People talking about their favorite songs, their favorite albums, periods in their life when they listen to them, and just kind of reminiscing, you know, about the King of Pop. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, you know, that was a really good look. I, know, I realize it's just one person, but how his music has really spanned and held up at the, the test of time, because some people were saying, you know, when you grew up with the music, those people would be a little bit older now, but she was so young, and even she is aware of Michael Jackson and what a big figure he is, and the, and the music even for her having, what did she say? She had to sing ABC, I think, so it, it is amazing how many people Michael Jackson and his music has touched. So, uh, Cara, really appreciate you standing by and talking to us, and, and hopefully we can check back with you later. Meantime, uh